Montauk, Long Island, Long Island sustained severe damage in Superstorm Sandy. The federal government promised a comprehensive dune and beach repair that would protect the East End, tourist destination from flooding and erosion. But now people living there tell our Jennifer McLogan they are all caught up in bureaucracy. 18 months after Sandy struck, and now in the cusp of the 2014 hurricane season, Montauk residents call the federal emergency project decision to protect their vulnerable East End community pathetic. We feel that, that the project as proposed is far too small for anything meaningful for the community. It's, all, it's a borderline slap in the face. Steve Kalimnios' hotel sits among a row overlooking Montauk Beach, just weeks away from seasonal throngs of tourists. He says the entire hamlet could suffer another significant breach in flooding now that the Army Corps of Engineers is scaling back on its post-Sandy pledge to elevate the beach and build up the protective dunes. Instead, the Army Corps will try a short-term bridge-the-gap fix with six million dollars worth of sandbags that many here feel is doomed to failure. There's a serious concern that downtown Montauk in particular will be devastated under the current circumstances. Generations of Perry Durier's family have seen the worst of unpredictable storms and worry that their downtown below sea level would be doomed in a category three hurricane. But the Army Corps explained that its work here must be done in stages so that it does not overlap or conflict with a second approved project slated to start in 2016. Called FIMP, it would rebuild dunes and elevate some homes along Along sections of 83 mile shoreline from Fire Island to Montauk Point. It's very difficult dealing with the Army Corps and they have their processes. So instead of one project done all at once, residents here worry in the meantime, waiting, erosion and storms will ruin their vulnerable beach. From Montauk Point, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.